What's up, you guys? Happy holidays. I'm here with our 2021 Male Athlete of the Year. Rodrigo, show your award. How do you it feel? It is. Well, quite good. It was a good surprise, though. So thank you very much for that. Was not expecting it, as you know. Yes, so we just presented this to him because he missed our holiday party, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're here today just to kind of review the last three years. Rodrigo, you came to me three years ago, almost to the day. Correct. Correct? Yeah, it was on no in November 2018. Yeah, 2018. Yeah. Why? Um, because I wanted something a bit structured, uh, a bit of a change in my life, and I had injured myself trying to do so. Okay. So I went for uh, safety and uh, professional advice. And right. I found you. Yeah, so. and so you met me at Miami Man, right? And right. you had just, what was your time at that race three years ago? So that was my first race, and I finished in two hours and 11 minutes. Two hours and 11 And how did you place in your age group? I think I was eighth okay. at the time, something like yeah. that. So eighth, eighth place, and you came to me, and we got to right to work, right? And the conditions that we had challenges with is that you don't really live here in Miami, right? Yeah, indeed. I live in the Bahamas and come here during the weekend only. Right. So we had that long distance challenge, but when you came in town, we were able to get your evaluations and kind of get your testing done. But I will say that your commitment to and your work ethic is definitely why you have been so successful. And over the last three years, this year particularly, you did get on, on the podium every single race you did. So let's start at the beginning of this year, 2021. And what was your first race that you did? So my first race was, now you're challenging me. Uh, it was a Miami Clash. Right, the Clash Miami. Yeah, yeah indeed. Yeah. And I finished uh, third in total and uh, first in my age group. So third place overall in yeah. the sprint. Right. And remember, you're, you like long course, but we always do sprints to get you fast, right? So you got... First, third place overall at that race, and then you got first place in your age group. Awesome, right? Very happy? Yeah, I was quite happy with that. <laughs> okay, so then we went on to do a 70.3. What was the next race? So next race was uh, Sebring. It was for uh, the World Cry Fire. Yep. Um, and there I finished first in my age group as well. Right. First in your age group. And do you remember your time? I know I'm challenging um, you. <laughs> Now everybody's going to see 430, it. was 432, it? 442, 442. You're right. I thought it was a 430. 432, 432, sorry. Yes, yeah, it was 432 right. because it's a shorter distance, That's right? It. But you still had a kick-ass race at that race, right? Yeah. So that was awesome. So again, the podium, okay? And then we went through the summer, and we were you were in Europe training in the mountains, which was really helpful. Correct. I, I don't know if anybody heard it. You were in the mountains training, which really helped you, right? Because you had a European championship. So what was your next race? So my next race after that was, uh, yeah, it was 17.3 in Cozumel, yes. um, and there I was very happy. I finished fourth of my uh, on my age group, but uh, it was really a hard race for me because it was so hot. I was not used to that, but was still very well stoked that I, I finished fourth on there. Yeah, uh, and fourth at an Ironman, you know, brand race is huge because the competition there is real. Like, you know, in, in Florida, we have that, you had that other 70.3 in, in Sebring, but the competition isn't ever as high as when you're in an Ironman race. So congratulations. We have a photo of you, you know, biting your fourth place award. That was such a kick-ass race. And then we got to Miami, man, and we decided to go back short, right? And for you, it was a really big goal because three years ago, you had been there, right? So tell us a little bit about the whole race. How did it go down? Well, it was really about, uh, you know, trying to close the loop after three years. That's why I wanted to do the same distance. Um, and we had to work hard to, uh, to, to make set times that were realistic, but at the same time, challenging. Yes. Um, I, especially on the swim. Uh, you told me that uh, I was taking it too easy. Um, <laughs> and uh, I re really put myself in a, in a situation where I was struggling, uh, but knowing what I was doing, same on the bike, and came the run. And it's, um, I think that's the, the best feeling when, You've ju just done the two, you thought you pushed, but on the run, you still have that energy and you find legs that really don't know you have these legs. And uh, I actually did my best 10K time at a triathlon, although um, I had done the run and everything, uh, sorry, the bike before. So that was great. It was 14 minutes, which yeah. I was very happy. 40 minute 10K off the bike. And I have to tell you that course, I actually did run half the course with Eli. Um, and I will tell you, it was ridiculously challenging. I mean, the roots and rocks and the terrain made it so much harder. And for you to be, have a PR at that 10K is truly an accomplishment. So congratulations. Thank you. And what was your final time? As of three years ago, we did a, you said a one, what was it? 2.11, that 2 was three years ago. Mm -hmm. And this one was 152. 152. And what place overall? Uh, third. Third overall. Right. How does that feel? 
Well, it felt very good. It felt that uh, it was, uh, well, you could see the, uh, the result of three, three years of hard work because it's, um, it's uh, thousands of, of miles running, cycling, um, hundreds of, of miles uh, swimming as well. A lot of time dedicated to it. So, yeah, it felt, felt pretty good. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. We at Fur Full Circle Coaching are so proud of you. You guys are going to get to see a video we put together of the Miami Man course. So it's kind of a full circle moment, would you say? Literally. And, but that's also a teamwork. And, um, you know, um, without you and, and the team, I don't think I would have been able to do that. So I think it's also time for me to thank you. Thank you so much, and thanks for trusting me and trusting the process, because really, it's all about a relationship, right, and giving feedback, and you give good feedback so I can help you in turn, right? So I'm so proud of you. High five. Woo! <laughs> Bye, you guys. <laughs> did you show that? Yeah, I did. Okay. You asked me to do it. <laughs>